good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, white folks music. So guys, whenever I have white folks music, it typically involves them. So, and we're talking about somebody I have a lot of respect for, the great George Foreman. Now, his first part of his career in the 60s and 70s, unfortunately, I was not around for that time period where he was probably the most dangerous fighter in any era of boxing, even more dangerous than Mike, Mike Tyson. I mean, the guy has knockout power with his e either hand. I mean, again, he's like, I'd say the most dangerous heavyweight of all time. Um, but I, I was able to see George Foreman come back in the 80s when he was around like 38 years old. Um, I saw him fight like people like Tommy Morrison, Evander Holyfield. Um, but then when he beat Michael Moore at 46, he was getting pounded out that whole entire fight. But again, the 10th round, he hit Michael Moore with that overhand right. And Michael Moore should have been just, you know, dancing around. Um, he became an American icon, right? And we know how much of an American icon George Foreman was because he came up with the George Foreman grill. And he was completely different in his personality than he was at first when he was younger. When he was younger, he was a little bit more reserved, angry. He didn't talk to anybody. But in his later life, he became a pastor. America loves George Foreman. He's an American icon. Not as big as Bill Cosby, but I think Foreman's close, right? He has like a big family. All his kids are named after him. He has a daughter named Georgina. But he's now 73 years old, um, toward the end of his life, okay? And here, here's what's happening now. Over the past six months, two women have been trying to extort millions of dollars from him, saying that he abused them. Booty clapping sounds? Yeah, in that way. <clears throat> okay. And here, here's what George Foreman had to say about the allegations. Stay music! Over the past six months, two women have been trying to extort millions of dollars from each from me and my family. They are falsely claiming that I, you know what, abused them over 45 years ago in the 1970s. I adamantly and categorically deny these allegations. The pride I take in my reputation means as much to me as my sports accomplishment, and I will not be intimidated by baseless threats and lies. I am and always be, will be, guided by my faith and trust in God. I will work with my lawyers to fully and truthfully expose my accuser schemes and defend myself in court. I don't pick fights, but I don't want to array from them either. So guys, I want to I wanna talk about this. <clears throat> George Foreman has some problems in his younger years. He was um, admittedly abusive to like, you know, women and his wife and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is this, he's seeing that these allegations, um, are not true. And he did say that he would hit people and things like that. I'm assuming that means women. I don't know if it was his wife or not, but he did mention that sometime, some time ago. But is this true? I don't think so. Because why wouldn't you, why would you wait until now? Because when he started making money from the George Foreman grill, that was the best time to say that. Okay. It earned him over $200 million. So why are you waiting until this part of time in life to do this? I can tell you why. Because a lot of these ladies, in my opinion, um, they're broke, okay? I'm not saying that he's perfect, but I'm saying that these accusers, they had every opportunity to mention it at the time. In the 70s, uh, they had opportunities in the 80s and the 90s, but the culture is there in the culture of clout chasing is allowing ladies to come out the boondocks. You may even know them and they can say <clears throat> that you're doing this and they're not even going to the courts. They're trying to extort him. Like, listen, pay me millions of dollars. or I'm going to go to the press and say that you abuse me because there are no child charges filed on him or anything. The reality is this guys. And I tell you all the time, the people who get sued the most are rich people, talented people, hardworking people and these hardworking people can be men or women all right rich women get sued too but rich men a little more so okay and and i want you guys to understand this because if you want to be wealthy if you want to be rich there are plenty of people who feel that they should have your money yet they did not do any of the work there have been no child uh, charges filed against mr foreman there's been nothing leveraged against him you know from these ladies at all but they're extorting him. And a lot of men 
are going to get extorted 40 or 50 years past the time. And what does this mean for guys? Brothers, we got to be careful of how we interact with ladies. Okay. That's me included. Because right now you're thinking like, okay, well, that ain't going to hurt you. And right now it may not hurt you. But here, here's, here's what's going to happen, guys. You don't know 30 years down the line how somebody can come back and say something about you and ruin your reputation or try all the years of hard work that you have built. Okay. Think about this. You have built your entire life trying to be this kind of guy only for some person to say that you did X, Y, and Z. You did that. You did this. That person don't even know you. Okay. That's why a lot of stuff, you know, especially celebrities that are big and famous and stuff like that. You need to be able to keep all kind of transcripts. Look at Chris Brown. The girl was saying that Chris Brown did this to him. And you know, um, he was trying to take advantage of her. He actually played her voicemails about how he misses, how she misses him. She would love to do these things to her. Then all of that. She immediately dropped those charges. He exposed the fact that she was actually out there dusty. Okay. And guys got to be careful. Guys got to be careful. It's the truth. It's the truth, guys. Be very, very careful. You want to get money? You're doing very well. All right. These ladies will be the same ones like, oh, you know what? Um, I really want to talk to you. I really want to be with you. And the thing about it is this. When you have money, they're always going to be acting nice. This is like what George Foreman's uh, Donald Trump said about Elon Musk. He said when Elon Musk was in the White House, he was kissing his ass. You know, he would do. He said if he told me to get on his knees right now and bark, he would do it. But now people act a little differently when, you know, they ain't in your life no more. You got to realize that a lot of these ladies are they're coming toward these guys. Oh, yeah. No, you ain't got to pay me. You got to do this. You know, make you feel special. The next thing you know, they want to give you a lawsuit. Guys need to know that most ladies out there, if you're in entertainment, Many of them probably are looking for what you can do for them. All right. I'm not saying you won't meet nice ladies that will love you, but you're a boxer, you're a rapper. Be careful. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity Junker. Be sure for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the performer remains at all time high. I'm out. <laughs>